In today's video we will be building this button so you can impress your colleagues that you have some animation skills. It will be a really short video and feel free to follow along. First we need to create a new file called index.html, then we will create a boilerplate, we will do it with exclamation mark and enter. If you don't have this extension just go to plugins and uh, find html boilerplate. Also, we will need to open a live server. That's what you can see on the right side. We will see uh, immediate changes. We need to go to plugins again and find a live server extension. Once we have it, we install it. And if you want to open it in the live server, then just right click and open with live server. So now we need to add a div with a class name of container. Then we need to add a href, which is going to be pointing to nowhere and also for spans with a name of the href which is going to be a submit. Then we will add html tag with a height of 100% and also position relative. Then we specify another html tag which is body and we will give it margin 0 and padding 0. Also font family uh, sans serif and background color. We will also target our class which is container with a position absolute and top and left 50% so it's gonna stay in the middle also we'll give it some padding which is 40% uh, transform translate of minus 50% and minus 50% we'll add some background color and box sizing which is gonna be border box which we will get rid of all the margins around and we'll add some box shadows and border radius so now when we save the project we should see this so the next step will be to target the href and I will do it first with the class name and then with the href. Uh, we will give it a position of relative, uh, display inline block, uh, we will give it padding 10 pixels and 20 pixels, uh, we will give it a color of kind of like a pink, neony pink, uh, then a font size 16 pixels, text decoration none, text transform uppercase, overflow hidden, transition 0.5 seconds and then we will give it letter spacing of 4 pixel. Then we want to target the href again with a hover effect. We'll give it a background of the pink one, uh, color white. So once we hover at it, the text is going to be white. Uh, then border radius 5 pixel and box shadow 0, 0, 200 and the pink neon color. Once we save it and we hover, we should see something like that. Next, we need to target the spans and give it the position absolute and display block. Next, we need to target the first span and give it a top zero, left minus 100 with 100%, the height 2 pixel, background linear gradient 90 degree, transparent and the pink color. Also animation which is going to be btn anim1, one, one second and linear infinite which is going to keep looping. Uh, we need to add some keyframes as well. So we'll target the animation name and give it from zero. It's going to go left minus 100% and 100% is going to go to 100%. So if we save it, as you can see now, it comes with minus 100% to 100%. The next steps will be really similar. We'll need to target the second span, which will have a top minus 100, the right zero with two pixel, uh, then height 100%, background linear gradient 180 degrees, transparent and the pink color. And we will have animation BTN anim2, one second linear infinite and animation delay which will increase to 0.25 seconds. We'll add some keyframes again. We will target the animation name with 0. We'll start with top minus 100. So from here, from the top and we will go to basically 100% which is going to be top 100% which is going to be down here. Then we need to target uh, the third child so we'll do that as well with bottom zero, right minus 100% with width 100%, height 2 pixel, background linear gradient 270 degrees, transparent and pinky color. Lot animation, 
btn anim free with one second linear and infinite animation delay which will increase again to 0 0.5 seconds and then we will target the keyframes so we will start with a uh, right minus 100 percent so which will be on this corner and we'll go to 100 percent then we need to target the last span which we will do with a bottom of minus 100 percent left zero with two pixel height 100 percent background linear gradient 360 degrees transparent and pinky color then animation between anim 4 one second linear infinite and animation delay will increase to 0 0.75 milliseconds then we will target the keyframes from zero we will start uh, minus 100 percent and we'll go to 100 percent and that's pretty much it now you can see our animation is working and then once we're gonna hover over our submit we'll see that is glowing Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.